ever heard of open theism? This is kind of a new false doctrine to me. Um, I've learned that Jesse Morell and Kerrigan Skelly, they are street preachers. Jesse Morell is open air outreach, and um, they deny original sin and other doctrines. They teach false doctrines, so I kind of checked into them to see what, what all they teach, and open theism is part of it. So I'm just going to read this um, from Got Questions. Open theism, also known as openness theology and the openness of God, is an attempt to explain the foreknowledge of God in relationship to the free will of man. The argument of open theism essentially is this. Human beings are truly free. If God absolutely knew the future, human beings cannot truly be free. Therefore, God does not know absolutely everything about the future. Okay, we know clearly from Scripture that that is not true. God does know everything, including the future. This is definitely a false teaching and heresy here. Open theism holds that the future is not knowable. Therefore, God knows everything that can be known, but he does not know the future. Open theism bases these beliefs on Scripture passages which describe God changing his mind or being surprised or seeming to gain knowledge. Genesis 6.6, 6, 22.12, Exodus 32.14, Jonah 3.10. In light of many other scriptures that declare God's knowledge of the future, these scriptures should be understood as God describing himself in ways that we can understand. God knows what our actions and decisions will be, but he changes his mind in regard to his actions based on our actions. God's disappointment at the wickedness of humanity does not mean that he was not aware it would occur. In contradiction to open theism, Psalm 139.4, which I'll read from the King James... 139.4, For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, that thou knowest it altogether. The Lord knows everything, including the future. Psalm 139, verse 16, Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Um, let's see here. How could God predict in intricate details in the Old Testament about Jesus Christ if he did not know the future? How could God in any manner guarantee our eternal salvation if he does not know what the future holds? Ultimately, open theism fails in it, that it attempts to explain the unexplainable, the relationship between God's foreknowledge and mankind's free will. Just as Calvinism fails that they make human beings nothing more than pre-programmed robots, so open theism fails that it rejects that rejects God's true omniscience and so sovereignty. God must be understood through faith, for without faith it is impossible to please God. Hebrews 11.6 Open theism is therefore not scriptural. It is simply another way for finite man to try to understand an infinite God. Open theism should be rejected by followers of Christ, while open theism is an explanation for the relationship between God's foreknowledge and human free will. It is not the bib biblical explanation. So open theism is a false teaching, basically saying that God does not know the future. Um, and we know that is a lie. So thank you for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.